Hello there. Good evening. Hello, Jacqueline, Yolanda, Diana, Maria, Fernanda, and Walter. Hello, teaching. Good uh, evening. Good evening. What's the weather like in your city? How's the weather? How's the climate? Uh, ice cream. The climate. The weather. Lado, ¿cómo se dice? Clima, frío. Yeah, uh, cold. Cool. Uh -huh. Cold. Cold. It's cold and windy. How, uh, winter. Windy. Uh, ¿Qué está, significa? Está haciendo viento. Ah, no, fíjate. En la tarde sí, pero después solo helado. Está bien helado. Okay, here in San Salvador is, is cold and windy. Okay, let's start. Now, can you see my screen? Hello, can you see my screen? Hello.
Hello, teacher. No, no entiendo cuando dice lo que dice. Can you see my screen? My screen is my pantalla. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, okay. I see. All right. Thank, thank you, Yolanda. Thank you. Okay, now you see my screen. Uh, you can see the questions. The questions, okay, here we have 10 topics to talk about. We can talk about one topic, like the weather. What type of weather do you like? And everybody can answer that, right? Because we, we like cold weather, warm weather, hot weather, Okay, and uh, also we have hobbies. You can talk about your favorite hobbies. You can talk about food, family, sports, sports and music, interests, friends, school, work, and movies. Okay, so right now we're going to go in working groups and ask questions, the questions you like. Okay, you can maybe you can take the first five topics from weather to sports and music and start talking. Got it? Understand? These questions are you are. easy to understand do you understand these questions do you understand these questions Yes, teacher. Hey. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Thank Excellent. You. Thanks for answering because the rest of your classmates are sleeping. <laughs> I see. <laughs> ah, because it's cold, it's time to have a colcha, you know, a sheet. Yeah. Oh, we have the tiger. <laughs> <laughs> La clásica. Okay, good. Well, we're going to take these five uh, questions, like what type of weather do you like? What are your favorite hobbies? If you can eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Tell me about your family. And sports and music, do you prefer to play a sport? I mean, do you prefer to play sports or listen to music? Okay, the Sergio, ask, yeah, but ask me the question number one. I mean, the first question. Okay. What type of weather do you like? I like uh, rainy weather. I like winter. Winter. Winter, yeah. Rainy, rainy. I like rain. And also, I, I can say... I like this kind of weather, cool weather, because it's, it's cool, it's fresh. Fresco. Yeah. Yolanda, thank you, uh, David. Um, okay. the, teacher. the second question. What are your favorite hobbies? Okay, I have many hobbies, okay. One is to collect music. Another is to um, walk. I like to walk. Well, that would be an exercise, but uh, I like to cook. Cook barbecues. And what else? Let me see another hobby that I have. Uh, um, I like to read and listen to music. Okay, thank you. Diana, ask me this, the next question. Hmm? 
No, Diana. She doesn't answer. Okay, Carla Nayeli. If you can eat. Sorry, one. teacher. I was uh, taking my dinner. No? Ah, your pill. See, sí, yes. Your medicine. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, okay, okay. All right. So, uh, okay. Then, okay. So, what's the next question? Me. Okay, okay. Tell me about your family. Well, um, I have two daughters, uh, Gaby and Lupita. Lupita is the big, the big one. She's twenty-seven, and Gaby is nineteen. Um, that's it. No more family. My mom died. I don't know about my father. I'm I'm separated, and I have another, I have another relationship. And the last question. Diana, the last question. Okay, what movie do you recommend to the most? No. To oh, the that's the last one. No. This one, sports and music. Ah, sorry. Do you prefer to play a sport or listen to music? Oh. I like both, but uh, I do more listen to music. And what kind of music do you listen to? Uh, de todo. Everything? Everything. You listen and, to but... all, all kind of music? Yes, when I go to my job, when I go to my home, uh, I am home. Okay, so you listen to anything. Are you sure you listen to rancheras? Sometimes. Oh my goodness. Sorry <laughs> about that. Okay, okay. Let's go to the groups and take the first five questions and ask, ask them to your partners. I'm going to give you... Uh, Four minutes. Thank you. 
Okay, let's continue. Remember this exercise? It was the last exercise yesterday. When Carl is angry or things are not as he expects, he shouts. So Carl shouldn't or should not shout. When, okay, remember that? Yeah. Yes, Let, teacher. Let's see what we can make. So far. Should not shout. Bye. 
When when he's angry. Okay. What do you have for the next one? My assistant never uses a salutation in her emails. Help me, please. Let's start. My assistant has to say uh, has to say hello. Yeah, we can say have to use uh no no we are using should. Ah okay. Yeah, remember we are using should. My assistant should. Uh, should to say. No, should use. Should use. What? It's salutations. Where? In. Um, in emails. In her emails. In her emails. Okay, good. And the last one. Lucy likes to tell jokes in the office. She loves very loudly. Lucy Chu. Uh, because she is uh, scandalous. She makes noise. Ha ha ha. You know, people in the, in the, at your work, that is like that. You can listen far away because they're laughing. So, Lucy, what? Should, should or should not? Ah, Lucy should not. Should not what? Maybe tell jokes. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's okay. Tell jokes. Where? In the office. In the office. Okay. These are possible possible dancers. I don't know if we have JC, JC or someone else can make a, a scream, a shot and come um, share it with the class. Thank you, Yezi. Thank you. Great. Hey, thank you. Yezi, Yezi, and Javier. Okay, let's continue. Now you have the information. You can take it later. I'm going to erase this. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, David. We know we are having problem with uh, your connection. Let's continue. Teacher. Hello. How can, how can I say Aire? Air. 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 No, perdón, viento. <laughs> ah, wind. Wind, okay. Wind. Thank you. Yeah, the wind is windy today. Cuando decimos windy es que está haciendo vientos, está vento, eh, ventoso, da hay viento. And that is the correct word in Spanish. No hay que confundirla, ¿ok? 
Okay, now, I want you to write three examples of good behavior and bad behavior in business meetings. Understand that? Yes. Okay, because you're going to work in groups. Okay. After that, that you write the three examples of good behavior and the other three examples of bad behavior, you're going to create a conversation. But, I mean, the purpose of this activity is that you include in those conversations should and should not or shouldn't that is the abbreviation of should not okay like you shouldn't um you shouldn't shoe gun in a meeting you know what's a shoe gun no. you know how to say chicle Chewing gum. Chewing gum. That is chicle. You see the, the can you see the the shot please? So you can say you should not chew gun in a meeting. That is a that is an example. And then the other the other partners is uh, can say you should be quiet when all another person is speaking. Understand the activity? Okay, Francisco. I got it. Understand? Yes. Okay. First. Three and three and yeah, okay. then the conversation. Yeah, good. Uh, three and three, good and bad behavior, okay? Number two, create a conversation. Number three, present the conversation to the class. I'm going to give you... Seven minutes are okay? No, check ten minutes. Ten minutes, okay. Please make questions if you need if you need help. Thank you. All right.
Oh my god.
Hello, everybody. Are you ready to present your conversations to the class? No terminamos, teacher. Oh, ah, en eso estamos fallando, porque no me dicen nada. Sí, teacher, lo que pasa es que... No pueden enviar un, no pueden enviar un mensaje. En ese caso, teacher, le... no somos expertos en hacer conversaciones. No, no, no es eso. Yo no estoy reclamando. Yo lo que les estoy diciendo es que me digan para darles más tiempo. Yo les dije, si tienen algo, solo comuníquenlo, pero no dicen nada. Sí, pusimos solamente los tres malos y tres buenos, pero nos quedamos a iniciar la conversación. Ok, let's, let's. Uh... Es que aquí negociemos, ¿verdad? Yo no, yo no estoy con el cincho. Yo no soy papá cincho. <risa> ok, a, a mí me interesa que ustedes aprendan. Ok, good. So let's do something. I'm going to call the attendance and then I'm going to give you five more minutes. Yes. Ok, yes, five. okay five. good, good. Solo, solo mándenme un texto, un texto cuando estén en el grupo. Dice, teacher, we need some more time. Okay. Oh, teacher, we need we need four four minutes, three minutes. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Good. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let me see. Uh, let's call the attendance first. Adriana Lizette Chávez. Por 
present. Thank you. Diana Elizabeth Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Flor de Maria Valladares. No, she's, she's a client. Okay, Francisco Javier Quinteros. He's on the way home. Okay. Herson Osvaldo Deras. No. Jacqueline Xiomara Araujo. Present. Thank you. Juan Carlos Quevedo. Present. Thank you. Karen. Emina Membreño. Present, Nick. Oh, hey, hello. How are you? <laughs> hello, Nick. How are you? Good day, Nick. Okay, Bien, Nick. good, good. Excellent. excellent, excellent. Carla Nayeli Machado. Present. Okay. Kimberly Nayeli Miranda. Present. All right. Maria Fernanda Morán. Present. Thank you. Merari Andrea Sánchez. All right, all right, Merari. Escucho su señal. Tiene un poco de problema. You have a little... You're having issues with your signal. Okay. Sergio David. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Un efecto. Present. Sí, yeah. Alien, alien. From, from, other, from other planet. <laughs> Present. Okay, thank you. Vanessa Guadalupe Santos. Walter Amilca Ramírez. Jenny Carolina Tobar. Present. Thank you. Yolanda Pérez de Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay. Okay, Flor de María. Si se teacher, soy Flor presente. Hay ruido, no escuché mi nombre. Okay, Flor de María. Good. Es una flor presente, dice, ok, all right. Good. Sí, sí, Let... en el grupo de WhatsApp, <laughs> está aún en el trabajo. Ok, yeah, also Javier is coming from, coming from his work. Ok, let's, let's continue, you're going, I'm going to give you five more minutes. If you need help, let me know, ok. Let's go. Thank you. Welcome.
Okay, Javier, got it. Teacher. Hello. Eh, no pude decir present porque iba en tráfico y si me detenía me podía pegar el carro de atrás. No, 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 tranquilo. Ya le atendí. Presente, okay, Fra gracias. presente, Francisco. Present, teacher. Ok, thank you. Ok. Hello there. Ready? Let's listen to the first. Okay, what's the first question, the first conversation? Like, okay, who's ready? Chair. Hello. News. I'm ready. With uh, Carla Nayeli. Okay. And okay. Go on. Excellent. Velasquez and Mr. Leiva. Could uh, you tell me about the business meeting today? Yes, it was very interesting. It's true. But one person was interrupting a lot. Oh. How did interrupt them? He talked um, loud, loud, um, looking at his cell phone. Yes, but the other were good behavior. Brian. Finish. <laughs> Finish. Excellent. I like it. Thank I know you. you have. I know you have more. The more you practice, the better you get. Excellent conversation. I I really like it. Thank you. 
Okay, next next conversation. Next conversation. Who's next? Hello. Do we have another conversation or not? Okay, we are waiting. Okay. Um, Yolanda, Adriana, pay attention, please. Yes, I'm sorry. I am taking notice. Okay, I will ask you at the end of the class. Okay, I, I answer you. That's it. Finish, teacher. Okay, thank you. Good. But did you use should or should not? Ah, sorry. Este, yo tenía que decir, este, you should take ah. notes because it's important. Perfect. Perfect. De ese, esa es la figura gramatical que estamos. That's the grammar we are using, okay? So please use it. Another another conversation. Another conversation. No more. Hello. You asked me for more time. Me pidieron más tiempo. So what happened? Uh huh. Hello. Nobody, only five students participate and the rest, no. What happened? So you need more time or what? Or we go to another activity. Okay, let's go to another activity, okay? Let's let's continue. Carla, can you read this? Please. I will be able and let's start. Right, short and professional emails the co-worker. Mm -hmm. And the other one? Do you send emails every day? Should right. emails be bright or long? Can you mention three tips to write effective, effective, effective emails? All right, thank you, Carla. So after this lesson, you will be able to write short and professional emails to coworkers. Okay, so you're going to write an email. 
Then uh, a question, a quick question. Do you send emails every day? Carla, do you send emails every day? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Sergio, do you send emails? Yes, teacher. Okay. In the rest of the class, the rest of the class, do you send emails? Yes. Okay, good. All right. Should emails be brief or long? When I'm saying brief, we're saying breves, short, okay? Can you mention three tips to write effective emails? Say good morning, good afternoon. Oh, the salutation. Okay. Mami, es que voy a hacer un jugo para Lodi. Okay, baby, ahí me da un poquito de jugo. Teacher. Hello. Can you mail to it to write a ticket email? Eh, saludos. Oh, you can say. Oh, no. You always say the, the greetings, yeah? Um, hello, good morning, dear uh, Mr. Mrs. It depends, right? Because if, if, if uh, um, about work, it's different. If you have a friend, it's a different email. But let's talk about that. We are talking about emails that we send at work to other companies okay you have to be you have to use etiquette yes dear mr or oh, mr samson i hope you're doing good and hoping that da, 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 the salutation after that the the matter what is the purpose directly uh, informing that your sales going to reach okay that's it okay you have to be concise but, hello as you can can we're going to watch another Another tips, and here we are. We have some tips. Okay, let's discuss these tips. Put a check. You know what's a check, right? Which tips for writing for formal? We're talking about formal emails. Okay, so formal emails are sent to another companies or for you know business or business or just in your workplace to another coworker, okay, another department. Which tips for writing formal emails do you follow? Okay, check it. According to your uh, opinion. Express clearly, why are you writing? Okay. Be brief. Be brief. Use a formal salutation. Oh, good. Use a formal salutation, yes. What happened? Yeah, and I, I voice use the subject important. 
Está diciendo que usemos eh, la palabra importante como sujeto. No, no. Avoid, no. avoid means evitar. Ah. Don't use abbreviation. Do not use, aha, uh -huh, yeah. This is not this is not texting and this is uh, this is not about a, a friend. With a friend, we can send informal emails. Yeah, but not with uh, informal me informal emails. <laughs> Do you understand the other the other tips? What is the meaning of smiley? Oh, they're talking about uh, emoticons. Okay. So? Do you think that you should use smileys in a uh, in a formal email? No. No. Hello. Ultima dice, but do, do not use all capital. What the, the, okay, yes. So don't use all capitals. Teacher, is to um, use capital letter is shouting? Yeah, that's true. When you use capital, it's like people can say, oh, it's uh, screaming the people, shouting. Um, that that is the interpretation. Mm -hmm. Okay, so don't don't use all capital. Avoid using the subject important. Use a formal salutation. Be brief. Express clearly why you are writing. Do not use abbreviations. Do not use a smileys. Understand? Yes. Good. May I continue? Okay, we have a conversation here. And this, but pay attention to this. Practice this conversation with a compañero. Take turns talking about the tips you check in exercise two. Do you often send email? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use abbreviation in business email. No, it's not that. No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective email? Oh, okay. Y acá, you are going to add more information. What information? This one. Okay. And what are you going to use? You should, okay, you can say, you should, you should be brief or, okay, like, like this. You should use a formal salutation. Um, you have to express clearly why or you why you are writing, okay? So please make a longer a longer conversation, okay? I'm gonna send this for you the pronunciation of this. Casey, can you send us a chat, please? 
Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see you could share more tips to write effective emails. Yeah, sure. Okay, questions? Questions? You're so quiet today. I continue after. Yeah, you, 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 you continue. Okay, practice this conversation and continue the conversation with your partner using the tips. Understand? Use uh, two, one or two more tips. Okay. 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 Let, let's go. Share. Hello. Share. And could you share? It? Ah, no, could you share? Podrías compartir. Share. Share es compartir. Yes. Share. Okay. Share. Okay. okay. You're welcome. Oh, oh.
Ring, ring, ring. All right, I hope you had good conversations using should and should not or shouldn't. Okay, let's read. We're going to read this uh, information. We have communication in the workplace, the steps to write a formal email, read the tips to write a formal email, and classify the emails below as formal or informal. For the informal email, discuss what 
tips will be useful to make them more formal. Understand that. Okay, let's 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 read. Fill in the subject line with a topic relevant to your recipient and not just document or important. Okay, you have to write something that, that the topic of the of the email. Yeah. Like the monthly report. Yeah. That's the, the topic, the tema, all right? Include a polite salutation. Example given, dear mister, dear miss, good morning, okay? Formal. Write your main point in the opening sentence. Okay, the, the matter, okay? What, what is... What is the importance of the email? Don't use all capi capital or all, all or all lowercase letters, okay? Ni uno ni lo otro. Okay. Right formal, okay? Lowercase son minúsculas. In capital letters, mayúsculas, okay? Right? So, yes? But uh, when we write, we use only lower letters, no? Yeah, yeah, but but when you start a sentence, you use capital. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then lower case. Okay. Like in Spanish, like the orthographia, oh, orthographia, yeah, and punctuation. In English, is uh, spelling and punctuation. Okay. Formal writing. Formal writing. Um, avoid abbreviations like when we are texting. Remember when we are texting, we use abbreviations. Yeah. So don't use abbreviations. Be polite. Remember to write please and thank you. Yeah. Be brief. Short. If your message is too long, consider using an attachment. Okay. If your email is going to have uh, information, send a document. Yeah. A Word document, an Excel document, or a PPT. And also, if you're going to include pictures, attach them. You know where is attach? Adjunto? Yes, adjuntar, yeah. That's why your email has to be short, but if you're going to send more information, send documents. Comprende? Yeah. It's like we say in Espanol. Okay. Uh, Cuando... Dear Mr. Leiva. Okay. I'm sending you the, uh, the report, uh, the sales report. Oh, sorry. Um, Please. Salud en Espanol. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Okay. And then, uh, adjunto. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> this. Okay. Use a closing. Sorry. Use a closing phrase like best regards. Regards. Looking forward to your comments. Okay, at the end, also a closing phrase. Yeah, la, la despedida, yeah. Also, opening with a 
polite salutation and closing with a phrase. Add a signature block with appropriate contact information, your name, business address, and phone number. Okay, if you have a, what was that called? A business card, a, a, a electronic business card. Ya debe estar pegada, ¿verdad? It's attached at the end. Okay. Um, then edit and proofread before you send the message. Okay. You have to, tiene que editarlo and uh, check the spelling. ¿Qué usamos para, qué tecla usamos? What? He. Uh, Keyword, no keyword, I don't, I don't remember. ¿Cuál usa para revisar ortografía? Eh, mouse. F7. No, F7. ¿Ya? Clic con F7 y va a checar la ortografía de Cualquier documento, Word, Excel, PPTs, ¿ok? It's new. Ah, ok. Ok. Thank you. You're well, welcome. Ok. Tip. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a tip. Ok. Now, read, the, read with your partners. And for the informant in this course, what tips will be useful to make them more formal? Hmm. So, what tips will be useful to make them more formal in a uh, informal email? Okay. Let's see if you understand all the tips. Any questions about these tips? <laughs> No questions? No. No. Okay, next one. Now it's time for you to send and practice all the tips we have we have given. Okay, remember this. Remember this. Put into practice over here. Check them. If this is informal or this is formal, check the salutations. What do we have here? What do we don't have here? Okay. Work in groups and see what happened in this one. Okay. Two subjects, Saturday. Check check the, the subject. Check the, uh, this, the um, what is it there? The closing. Check if we have um, abbreviations. Okay, check what is good and what is wrong with these emails. Understand? Yeah, and if we, if um, both? Yeah, both. both. Both are informal. Okay, discuss that in the, in the group. 
Okay? okay. Just discuss it with the group. Yacy, can you send a, a shot, please? And give me the report when you finish. You're gonna, I'm gonna give you five minutes. Thank you, Jay-Z.
Okay, let's continue. So, what can you say about the first email? What are the informal things that this email have has and what are the uh, the the formal way to to write it? The friends doesn't have salutation. Ah, there's no salutation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Continue, please. They should have salutation and the subject is not correct because mm. it's not about the email. Yeah, yeah. So Saturday, what happened with Saturday? Mm -hmm. Saturday is just another day of the week. On Saturday, I work, I don't work, I go to the, what, what? So Saturday, it doesn't mean something specific. Okay, what else, what else? And the information is not clearly. Okay, so remember we have to prepare everything for the event. What event? It's not clear. You are right. Yeah. It's informal. It's informal. Uh huh. One more thing. Does it have the presentation? Mm. The, uh, the tarjetita? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Your business, email business. But one more thing. Mm. Okay, the closing phrase. Check the closing the closing phrase. See you. See you is informal. Mm -hmm. so yeah. we, have, we have to change this. Saludos. No, the closing, like, my best regards, or regards. Generalmente, bueno, perdón, en español, sería saludos o saludos cordiales. ¿Cómo okay. podría ser en yeah, yeah, yes, yes. In English, he is my be best regards, regards, or looking forward to your comments, etc. Okay. And there are more. All right, thank you, Diana. That was you, right? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, and what happened with the other one, my dear students, with the other um, email? Yes, what happened to the other email? What, what is there that is informal and how can we correct it? What happened to the rest of the class? You don't want to talk, you don't want to participate. No reading. Okay, David, do you have something to say? Participate. There is no greeting. Ah, okay. There is no greeting. Just Robert. 
Uh -huh. Ok. En seco. <laughs> Direct. Ok. Uh, well, the, well. the subject uh, is correct. Ah, ok. Tomorrow's meeting. Uh, more information. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. We have a meeting tomorrow, right? But, uh, well, greeting, not, not greeting. No, there's no greeting. And, yes. um, Don't fire well. Ah, yeah, yeah, the closing. Yes, uh -huh. closing. Not please. There's no salutation. And also, what happened with this? This says with IT. What is IT? Abbreviation. Uh -huh. It's abbreviation, yes. But, but the recommendation says abbreviation. Is not no abbreviations. Complete information. Look, complete avoid abbreviation. Yes. Uh -huh. And no closing. There's no closing. No closing. Informal too. Informal too. All right, let's call the attendance. Okay. Adriana, Adriana Lisset Chavez. Present. Thank you. Diana Elizabeth Ramirez. Present. Flor de María Valladares. Ok. Francisco Javier Quinteros. Present teacher. Thank you. Gerson Osvaldo Deal. Jacqueline Xiomara Dera, sorry, Jacqueline Xiomara Araujo. <ríe> Juan Carlos Quevedo. Karen Emina Membreño. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Nayeli Machado. Present. Thank you. Kimberly Nayeli Miranda. Teacher, aquí estoy porque no escucho nada. Yo tengo problemas de internet ahorita. Present. Oh, ok, Jacqueline, thank you. Es que sí, oye, José. Ah, es el Kimberly, right? Present. Thank you. María Fernanda Morán. Present. Thank you. Merari Andrea Sánchez. Present. Present. Thank you. Sergio David Leiva. Present. Thank you. Vanessa Guadalupe Santos. Walter Amilca Ramírez. Jenny Carolina Tobar. Present. And Yolanda Pérez de Sánchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, Flor says presente. Harrison says present. Okay. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Okay, now you are going to write a professional email to a coworker. Confirm that you need to meet with her or him tomorrow, okay? Es hora de escribir, okay? So you're going to write an email to a partner or a co or, or a coworker, okay? Send it to the chat. This is individually. 
puede tomar ejemplo de acá. But with the tips, ok. All the correct tips. Okay. All right, do it, let's do it. I would always be.
How are you? How are you? Oh, this is Diana, meeting for the event. Good afternoon, dear Diana, we have a meeting. Mm -hmm. Regards. Very good. Let me see. So only that I will looking for your comments. Let me see. Maybe. Looking forward to your comments. But it's okay. He has all the the parts, the subject, the salutation. You are being uh, brief, maybe not brief because I see a lot of. But the the all information about the meeting are attachments. Please be on time in the meeting. Okay, acceptable. The closing regards and your information. Good. Please continue. Oh, Davy sent uh, an image. Meeting tomorrow, Thursday at noon. The topic, um, mm -hmm. but that information is for the subject meeting tomorrow. Or Thursday, Thursday meeting. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Peter. We have uh, come, what? Contact, contacting. Uh, we are contacting you. To tell you that we need you to join us for a business. It will be tomorrow, Thursday at 8.30. In the company meeting. Uh -huh. Thank you for your assistance. See you, but see you later. The closing have to be uh, formal. See you later is informal. Okay, I, I have uh, David and Diana. And the rest of the class. Tal parece que la mayoría estuvo de oyente, ¿no? Okay, Diana, thank you. Jenny, what happened? Gerson, what happened? Yolanda? Francisco, what happened? Walter? 
No ha respondido nada. Mi asistencia. Karen, what happened with the email? Kimberly, Merari, Carla en Adriana, what happened with the email? Nara, Nara. Okay. Oh, there it is. Thank you. This is Francisco. Good morning. Um, the subject for supervisor. Mm, Change it. Maybe check, check the assistance or the attendance. Attendance today, uh, today's attendance. Because you're telling him to check, to check the staff, uh, the time, I guess, the time. So, mm -hmm. Carlos Martinez, and what happened with the closing? The closing here. All right, what? It's okay, it's a good way to start. Thank you, Francisco. Okay. Okay, teacher. Good. Well, uh, this class was very um, unusual. I only listened to like five or six students and then nobody participated. Okay, I hope you're doing better tomorrow. We have another class tomorrow, okay? Don't forget. So that's it. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Goodbye. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow, teacher. You too.